All right, here in the big toy box today, we have four random cars that we're going to look at here that are a little bit different. Well, hopefully a little bit different. I don't think everybody's had these on their uh, channel, or if they have, they haven't had them in a while on here. Anyways, this one here is the 2007 Holiday Hot Rods 3-pack Target Exclusive. This is the uh, Drift Tech, I believe it's called. Yeah, Drift Tech. This was originally from the Acceleracers in 05. And, of course, it would have had co-mold wheels on those. But this one's actually a pretty hard one to find. This is in, like, a satin red, which probably looks like a purple on the screen there because it's a little darker. But, anyways, this is from the Holiday Hot Rods 3-pack, which was a Target exclusive in 2007. I don't see this one. This I don't see this casting very often, but I especially don't see this one with this red satiny paint. All right, the next one we have is another Drift Tech. This is a Color Changer Drift Tech. This is supposed to be purple, and it's supposed to change to white, but it's staying blue here, I guess, because of the. Uh, it's a little cooler in here today. So this has the uh, PR5s, as did the other one. And uh, this one came out in 2014. has a plastic body. It's got an awesome paint scheme there with the flames on the side there. It's got a plastic wing, and it's got a metal base. And there it is for all the base lovers out there. Anyways, this is the Color Changers from 2014, and it's like a light blue now, but I guess it turns from white to purple. So anyways, this is another one here. This is another Drift Tech. And again, you don't see this casting very often, and I just figured I'd show it to everybody here, because this is just a random pull of stuff that was here in the collection in the big toy box. The next one we've got here, this is the, uh, let's see if we can get there in the camera. It's got a few little chips there in it, doesn't it? Anyways, this is the 57 T-Bird. This casting originally came out in 78, and uh, it was metal on metal. This one's plastic base. This is from the 1995 Ford 5-pack, and this is the 7-spoke variant. We don't get any tampo work on the back or the front. The only tampos on the whole car is in the back window there. They got that little Hot Wheels logo, and that's a pretty cool logo. The paint is very thick, and the casting is very old by 1995. So it doesn't have a whole lot of detail left in it. So it's a little rough looking. And it is a plastic base, unfortunately. But it did come in a five-pack. So it's a little bit of a different variant. I have a couple of these, actually, from the five-pack uh, set. I don't think I have the whole set, but I do have a few of these of this 57 T-Bird. I love this casting. I really like it with the metal base. I have one uh, original one from, like, 1980, 1981. And the Zamac on it is all, like, really dulled out. And it looks really looks pretty bad but it's still pretty cool to see one that old anyways and for the last car that we have today we have this this is called the dodge concept car this is from 1998 this is actually the dodge copperhead but for some reason they didn't have the rights to use the word copperhead on it so they called it the dodge concept car anyways this one here is a 2008 from a series called web trading cars and I haven't seen this version of this casting too much. Uh, it has a windshield that would probably easily get broken. I do like this paint. It is uh, a little bit of a pearl with the blue and silver uh, pen striping on it. It's really intricate looking, really cool. I like the blue interior. I think this is a neat little car. Kind of like a Viper design looking car, but probably got a V6. probably supposed to have a V6 in it. I don't know what engine they put in the concept vehicle. Anyways, you don't see this one too often from Hot Wheels. So I figured we'd just show this one here along with a couple of the other uh, different cars that we haven't seen. We want to see the base on it there. Well, let's flip it over so it's the right way there. There we go. There we are right there. For every all you base lovers out there, you can see that one. I don't think I showed the 57. There it is. What's crazy is the 57 base is almost exactly the same in plastic as it is in metal. It has the same font and everything. Because I do have the Zamac one somewhere, the old metal on metal one. That's a good looking car though. I mean, it's really a really cool casting. This is during the Larry Wood era, so I'm sure he had a bit to do with this. Actually, I know he had a bit to do with this, with this car. But anyways, it's a really cool classic Hot Wheels. It's a shame they put a plastic base on it. And back to the uh, Copperhead here, or the Dodge Concept as they call it. You got your Hot Wheels logo on the uh, fender there in the front. And you got PR5s. Um, it's pretty fitting for the car. I think uh, Phil Reilman, uh, Reilman designed this car. 
So they put the PR5s on it. And they look good on this car. I'm not a huge fan of the PR5s, but these look really good on this car. So yeah, we've got a few different ones there. We've had the Drift Tech, two of the Drift Techs, and of course this Target one. This is probably the most valuable out of all these cars I showed on here is this Target one. I mean, I'm sure it's not worth more than like three or four, maybe five dollars now. Got a nice metal base though. Anyways, that's just a few cars there to look at. A little bit uh, different here in the big toy box. Make sure to give the video a thumbs up if you like the video. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thanks to everyone that has subscribed. We will see you next time.